Hello coders and thanks for joining us for another Unity scripting series which is going to focus on teaching you guys dynamic multi-res UI systems such as a menu system. In the series we're going to teach you how to dynamically load buttons, images, text, and even set up your own page transitions. So here we have some uh, dynamically loaded buttons that are entering and exiting the screen with full functionality as you would expect. And down here I have some uh, flashing icons that will dynamically load images and even the text that goes inside of them so that it fits the image uh, as you would expect. All right. Now the purpose of this tutorial series isn't going to be teaching you guys how to set up this menu that I have here. Instead it's going to be focused around teaching you guys the basics and maybe some of the more advanced Unity scripting UI topics that will get you guys ready to um, style and customize your own UI systems, your own menu systems to fit the personality of your games. Your UI is going to be the first thing your players will interact with, so it's really important that you make a great first impression. Players are going to be skeptical of your game before they even play it if your menu isn't interacting in a way that they would expect. You will learn how to set up page transitions to more fully immerse the player in your game before they even play. So this is definitely adding on to the point I was just making, where if your players are having um, having no problem move, moving around, navigating on your menus, everything is working fluently, um, then it's, it's going to make them more inclined and happy and ready to play your games. Okay, so if they don't have to think about it, that's better. If they have to think about it, that's worse. All right, and finally, we're gonna understand how anchors work in Unity's UI system. The, the anchoring is a relative positioning system that's going to allow us to set each one of these UI elements, each image and each text to fit the, con fit the size of our screen. So the contents are gonna be fitting the size of the screen regardless of whatever size the screen is. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna run through some of um, Unity's default aspect ratios while the game is running here. And you can see that the contents of my page are uh, adhering to the screen size in a way that makes sense. So we're going to be running through how to do all of this in uh, the upcoming tutorial series, guys. Okay, so if you guys like the idea of this tutorial, go ahead and like this video so that we can know we can uh, keep doing them, uh, know that you guys like them. That'll be definitely helpful to us. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting our channel, and we'll see you next time.